nerdgasm. Resident Evil 4 is getting a re the remake of Resident Evil 4 is getting delayed and undergoing some changes. Uh, this game will potentially come out in 2023. They had a studio that was working on this game, working on a remake of the game. However, Capcom decided that they're going to use their core team to handle these uh, their Division One uh, core team to handle the Resident Evil 4 game. Uh, personally, I'm very happy about that. Um, what that means is like. It's pretty much Capcom working on this game. That's all it's said and done. Miss Ernie, I know you're a big Capcom guy. You play a lot of Street Fighters, and I know Flo the Ricky, you're into the Monster Hunters and the Devil May Cry. I do want to get both of your opinions. I'll start with Mr. Ernie. And if it, okay, can, can you go back to the? I'm sorry. Oh, it's uh, just uh, uh, Resident Evil 4 is being made in house now instead of being outsourced. So, meaning that. Uh, like, Catcom is working. Yeah. Catcom is strictly working on the game, and not Catcom paying someone to work on the game. Okay, I about to say it. Lemon's turns. Uh, My bad. <laughs> uh, mm. Now I know you mm. recently played. Did you recently play Resident Evil Four? <coughs> did, did I recently play Resident Evil What? Which Four. one? Oh yeah, I love that one. Okay, yeah, this is the one they're working on. This is the remake <coughs> they're working on. Because you know, two was successful, uh -huh. three was successful, one was successful. So you're just going to keep it going. I figured as much. I mean, you know, go with go where the money goes. But uh, sometimes Capcom be hit or miss with just be like pure Capcom, right? And I, that's one thing I worried about because I'm like Resident Evil Four was one, one of the best received ones that they ever had. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the Final only Fantasy I, Seven of the <laughs> Resident Evil. Say what? It's the Final Fantasy Seven of the Resident Evils. They okay. You know that's a good way to put it. It's, it's kind of like you look at it, you're like I hope they don't fuck this up, right? Because I like I said, y'all tired of hearing me talk about it, so I don't keep talking about it. But you know, I don't want an incomplete game, right? Exactly. Oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Flora Ricky, I know uh, you, again, you're a Devil May Cry fan, you're a Monster Hunter fan. Actually, one of the games that they had a reboot on was DMC <clears throat> Devil May Cry. And that was made by out. That was being made outside of Capcom. Capcom was paying Ninja Theory to uh, produce that game. Um, and I know you didn't like that game very well. Um, Which is why I'm surprised you even brought it up. Well, yeah, I want to like. I know how you're like them now, not outsourcing with this game uh, and the success of Devil May Cry Five. I wanted to get your opinion about that. Um, to be honest, I'm not. I'm not really too sure. Mm -hmm. Um. I it's been a while since I've even seen Resident Evil 4 so I I don't know. I really I really have no opinion on it. I know you're a fan of 5 and did you like 6? I I, I had a 6 was okay. It, it's okay I to say, play... it's okay to say you like 6. I know a lot of people No, 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 no. It's, well, you know what? I <laughs> You know, for the sake of it, I'll say yeah. Six wasn't that like in hindsight when I go back to it, six wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I did like five though. Five, I love five. I still have five. Yeah, I know five is a polished uh, co-op game. Oh yeah, I only played a single player. Like, I never played a co-op. Yeah, no, five is five is fun, man. You should you should you should play it sometime, man. Mm -hmm. I'll play it with you. Yeah, five is five is dope. Miss Andy, you got you got five. I do have five. Really? I mean, oh yeah. He has them on the Switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, on the Switch. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me throw that out there real quick. <laughs> He's probably mad at me. Like, are you You had to say something. So? Yeah, I got on Switch. <laughs> oh, I got it on the... I got it. I thought you had it on the, on the, on the station. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, I had to... Wait, you was playing it with your fiance? Yeah. Uh, did y'all finish it? Nah. Oh, okay. Okay. Why not? We just didn't go back to it. I thought y'all may have been busy. I couldn't get it on the system because you know you can't take the system anywhere with you. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he brings it back around. <laughs> uh, oh lord. Okay. Um. Now I'm excited for this. This is huge news to me because <laughs> one other studio did this when uh, with a remake of the game, and that is Square Enix. When uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was originally being made, it was being made by CyberConnect2, 
which is a great developer. CyberConnect2 is a great developer. The problem with CyberConnect2 is they're a one-button system. All you <laughs> can mash in, in that game is Square. Uh, if you don't know CyberConnect2, they made the Naruto Storms, they did Dragon Ball Kakarot, they did Asura's Wrath. So, it, they're all one-button type of systems. Mm, I play, hate them. When we play um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, it was a lot more strategic and a lot more... Um, a lot more care and love was put into this game to make it as close to the original as possible, which I I, I praise the uh, development team for making that uh, style of gameplay. It was it was completely great, a hybrid of turn based and of, mm. uh, high pace action. This gives me hope because Capcom does know what they're doing when it comes to Resident Evil. Even though Resident Evil 6 wasn't a good Resident Evil game, it, at the end of the day, it was a pretty cool game. Uh, Resident Evil 7 was spectacular. They took a risk and they went with it. And that game was spectacular. And we can see the um we can see how that's affecting Resident Evil Village as well. Resident Evil 4 is their baby, and I know for a fact they don't want to mess this up at all. Especially when we're seeing the success of uh Resident Evil 2 remake. That was phenomenal. One of the best remakes I've seen. Not even remake. I would say reimagining of the of Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 was hit or miss. Because, uh, because originally Resident Evil 3 remake was supposed to be a DLC to Resident Evil 2 remake. But, you know, it's, it's, nothing, it's not much we can say. Not much we can say about that. Um, but I am happy that they're bringing it in studio. Because we've seen... Like, Capcom has been... It's been a resurgence in Capcom recently. We finally got a completed, uh, well, Miss a &E, you can tell me uh, if I'm right or not, a completed final, uh, gosh, uh, Street Fighter Five. Yes, we did. Uh, we're getting more characters, and they're taking their time with uh, Street Fighter Six instead of rushing it out. And they're, they're, they remember that Rival Schools is a thing. So they're trying to bring that into the, um, into the Street Fighter universe. Resident Evil 5, I'm sorry, uh, not Resident Evil, uh, DMC 5, Spectacular, was up for Game of the Years, Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise, Spectacular, Monster Hunter World is Capcom's biggest selling game at the moment, and of course, their second best selling game is Resident Evil 7, so it shows like... Over Devil May Cry? Over Devil May yeah, Resident Evil 7 okay. is their second uh, most selling game. So it's actually genius that they're bringing it back in house and making the changes that they want to make because it shows that they don't want to risk messing up the the care that they have for it because the one thing that's going to know is the fans are going to notice and developers are going to see the money and they're going to notice that something went wrong. So now is 2023 a good time? If they start in now, probably not. But then again, um, if we look at the timeline for Final Fantasy VII Remake, they stopped development halfway through, and it took them two and a half years to finish doing that. So the overhaul of that and the turnaround of that was great. It's almost like you couldn't yeah. even tell that it took them that long to make it. Y'all can wait. There's a whole pandemic out here. Y'all can wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Oh, yeah. Well, probably in Japan, they, they got everything more under control over there. Versus America. I can't imagine why. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I'm I'm happy that Resident Evil 4 remake is coming back. Again, one of the best Resident Evil games known to man. Um so yeah. But definitely come back to us when the game comes out or at May seventh, yes, the official date of May seventh. We actually <laughs> could say that now. Um mm -hmm. where Resident Evil Village comes out. 